Hi, Laura back again, and this time with the Naneka Takuchi model, sometimes referred to as the Seki model. This is a knowledge conversion model, which comes up throughout the whole of SIPs. It's actually a really important one for understanding how knowledge can be converted within your organization. Before we can get into the model and deep dive into that, we need to look at what the two types of knowledge is. There's tacit knowledge, which is innate know-how. This is things that you have in your brain. You gain it through experience over time. So if you've worked at your organization for a while, you know which is the best person to go to in finance who are more likely to pay your invoice, or you know which supplier will deliver on time and so on. All of this is in your head. It can be hard to capture. Whereas explicit knowledge is formal, systematic, clearly articulated knowledge, like a training course, like I'm doing here. So this is the Seki model, and it's referred to as Seki because if you take the first letter of each box, socialization, externalization, combination, and internalization, it spells S-E-C-I, Seki. And we're going to go through each of these areas, but the way that it works is that you start on socialization, move to externalization, then to combination, and then to internalization. So this is what we want to happen with knowledge in our organization. Let's talk socialization. Socialization is tacit to tacit knowledge. Essentially, this is the knowledge that we have in our brain is passed on through practice where we have brainstorming activities, combination, guidance, imitation, and observation of people that we're working with. All of this allows us to basically put our tacit knowledge together with their tacit knowledge and socialize and create more tacit knowledge. The next area is externalization. Externalization is where you take tacit knowledge that's in your head and convert it to explicit. So tacit knowledge is codified into documents or manuals, etc., so that it can be spread more easily throughout the organization. So you take that tacit knowledge that you have as a procurement expert and put that down into a process manual. The next area is combination. This is taking explicit knowledge and making it more explicit. So codified knowledge sources, like the documents, that the manual that I just talked about, are combined to create a new knowledge. So this can be the complex stage, but essentially this is taking that tacit knowledge, those processes, and maybe make it into a training course so it's more explicit for more people. And the final area is internalization. This is where we take that explicit knowledge and convert it to tacit. So as explicit sources are used and learned, the knowledge becomes then internalized, modifying the user's existing tacit knowledge. Essentially, this is what we want for you in SIPs. The more that you do throughout your SIPs training courses, the more certain things will become tacit knowledge. At level four, you may not understand the concept of economies of scale or have to have that explained to you. But now at level six, perhaps, it will have become your tacit knowledge. So hope you found that useful. Please, please subscribe, check out our courses and we'll be back soon with another model video. Thanks for listening.